So, hello to everyone, to everybody in the room. I think the last participants are now joining us. And uh, as we have only 30 minutes for this meeting, um, I, I'll, I'll begin already and, and try to, to be as short as possible in my introduction. Uh, I'm Jules Hébert. I'm a program coordinator at the Paris office of the Heinrich Böll Foundation. Um, and I have the, the pleasure, pleasure to moderate this uh, short panel. As uh, you already know, the aim of this uh, sessions of this breakout session is to provide you with good example of local civil society initiatives. Uh, and in this particular breakout session, we will um, address the question of resources and waste management. As you know, our modes of production, our way to product and to consume are, are no longer sustainable. Uh, and on the one hand, we, we take more resources than the planet can offer. And on the other hand, um, we are also producing a lot of polluting waste. Uh, so that's what we want to address uh, today with uh, three uh, different speakers. Um, and just to let you know, uh, we'll keep some time for the questions uh, at, at the end of the, of the three different inputs. So you will be able to raise your hand and to ask your question. Um, you can eventually also write down in the chat your name if, if I don't see uh, your hand, but uh, be sure we'll keep some time for your questions. Of course, it's also uh, what uh, this meeting are, are meant for. Um, so we have the honor and pleasure to have with us three uh, European activists, as I, if I may say, from Italy, Croatia, and France. I'm very happy to welcome them all in our round. Um, and maybe let me start with Rosano Accolini. Um, Rosano is the director of the Zero Waste Research Center of the municipality of Capanori in Tuscany. Uh, he has been actively involved uh, in waste management for more than 40 years. Um, Rosano Arcolini is also the Zero Waste U Europe president and the winner of uh, the Goldman Environmental Prize 2013, uh, which you might know as uh, the, the alternative Nobel Prize for the environment. So thank you very much, uh, Rosano, for, for being with us uh, today. Um, and maybe a question to you, Rosano, uh, to begin with. Um, uh, you, you, you were very active in Capanori and you really started a mobilization uh, of local civil society, not only against uh, a planned local incinerator, but also in favor for another waste management model. Could you explain us uh, what is this, this whole initiative and how you, you did succeed in, in doing that? And, and maybe keep, uh, keep it short because we want to have some time for the questions. Know, Thank you. Uh, thank you uh, for inviting. It's a pleasure for me to cooperate uh, with you and uh, your uh, foundation. And uh, my story in Capanori is a long and a winning story. When we started, uh, uh, I didn't know uh, about uh, the success uh, in, uh, in uh, um, following uh, the, the first uh, 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 adoption of a zero waste of a capanori that is my hometown. Um, and uh, what uh, I, if I, I look at back, um, added the value of, of our victories was uh, to say not only uh, no, not only conflict, but uh, uh, preparing alternatives, saying yes, we don't want that, we wa are wanting. Uh, uh, these uh, best practices, and not only conflict, but solution. And uh, another important uh, uh, part of uh, our winning story was uh, to write our winning narrative. When you win, everybody is with you. When you lose, everybody try to avoid you. It's uh, maybe it's a little exaggerated, but we need uh, best practice. We need the community ready to win. And when you win, you open a door and other will be uh, ready to follow your path. Now I am enjoying uh, our success. We have uh, in uh, Italy 320 zero waste municipality representing uh, over 7 million of uh, inhabitants 
And I, it was an honor for me to be invited in 2015 from the mayor of Ljubljana to celebrate together the first uh, European uh, capital adopting a zero waste goal. Local, uh, global, we need to give it to our local municipality. It's not important if they are small or huge cities, but we want to give them our best, looking at the global sky. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Rosanna, for this uh, short introduction. Um, we'll come back to you uh, later also on, on other points of your, of your initiatives. Um, let me also introduce you, uh, Drazen Simleza. Uh, Drazen, uh, you're the, the president of the Green Network of Activist Groups in Croatia, and you're running one of the nine uh, centers uh, for, of knowledge for social development in the Republic of Croatia. Uh, you are also, you've been creating with your collective and running uh, an eco-social e educational center, which is called Recycled Estate. Uh, it's 20 kilometers south from Zagreb, and you practice their, uh, their waste approach in, in, in all the different aspects of, of this, the, the functionment of the, the working of this uh, center. So, um, Drazen, um, could you tell us uh, a bit more about this experience and, and how you're managing it at the at Recycled Estate? State. Thank you. Thank you, Jules. And it is a pleasure to be uh, with all of you here. So as you said, uh, now more than 20 years ago, when we were quite young, we started the project uh, Recycled Estate uh, to set up uh, uh, on both sides community place, but also educational center. And in this uh, place, uh, we are organizing many, many courses and uh, teaching activities about uh, sustainability, which uh, zero waste approach is one of the most uh, important, uh, you know, support or team. So basically, we are teaching people in energy, uh, buildings, uh, water management, uh, food uh, use and food production, how to minimize uh, our waste but I would also say, say how to minimize uh, our uh, footprint uh, on our planet, but also on uh, other people, people's lives. Uh, so that is what we are doing on our farm, on our educational center, but also through community supported agriculture uh, cooperative that we are uh, also running and where we uh, basically uh, supporting local farmers, but also uh, cooperate with citizens, how we are, use uh, how we should use more fresh uh, organic seasonal food also not just for our health but also to lower our waste in this sector thank you very much Drazen. and maybe just to complete um what what do you do especially uh, in this matter of, of resources and, and and waste management what are the the different programs you are running uh, in in this center what are the different approach you are using maybe you can explain a bit more on that for for our audience mm. so bas basically for example in uh, building construction we are uh, we are building uh, we have a building team that is uh, construct uh, houses so we are always focusing on two dimensions one is natural resources where we are, which we are using on sustainable way so uh, straw bells you know uh, natural plasters uh, wood on the other hand we are also using a lot uh, thrown away uh, materials or uh, leftover products that we are reusing or recycling like old bricks, old tiles, uh, different kind of uh, uh, basically garbage that we are incorporate in the building and uh, give them uh, new uh, meaningful uh, use. So that is how we are also teaching people that they, they should balance between uh, using uh, uh, things that are uh, left over somewhere and also things that are uh, natural products. Thank you very much, uh, Drazen. And 
maybe also to, to conclude this round of, of introduction, uh, I would like to give the word to Juliette Franquet. Uh, Juliette, um, you are director of Zero Waste France, uh, which is an association and an NGO and a network uh, that is aiming at defending an ambitious zero waste approach um, in, in France. Um, and you're considering source reduction as the main priority uh, at Zero Waste. And you have been uh, involved in this topic for uh, more than 15 years uh, now. Um, maybe um, as you are also running a, a, a more national organization, you can uh, tell us about what uh, Zero Waste France is doing, but also um, what is your role in making uh, local initiatives and local transitions uh, more systemic uh, in the, the aspect of resources and, and waste management? Yes, uh, hello everybody. Uh, I'm glad to share um, uh, my experience and uh, with the Race Friends uh, activity. So actually we are on a national level. We are part of the Race Europe as uh, the Race Italy. And we are also coordinating more than a hundred local groups, which are groups of uh, activists wanting to get involved in um, finding solutions and promoting alternative to uh, too much waste. And uh, one uh, good example is uh, the single uh, use, uh, the, the plastic, and the, which is only uh, single used. Um, so our role is to coordinate, to train them, to uh, lead campaigns and encourage them to uh, get involved in those campaigns, which can be about plastic, about organic waste, about many subjects dealing with the way we are producing and consuming and thus generating waste. We are publishing a lot of information for the general public, but even more uh, explaining the issues, the ecological issues, but also uh, the, the, sorry, the, the uh, economical issues and social issues and trying to link, link all the issues to show that there are other solutions generating less waste and um, so our, mayor, our, our best uh, core value is those trainings and campaigns. And we really see all those citizens wanting to be more aware and, and feel more uh, uh, able to go to their uh, politicians and explain the issues, ask for uh, results, and uh, also understand the like the disposal uh, system uh, to reduce the single use and especially about plastic with other material too. Um, so, and we have one specific program which is aimed to local authorities. And our vision is to organize a session with activists and uh, people from local authorities, either politicians, but also from the administration to work together to scenarios which lead to less waste and we're really glad to have uh, this uh, this uh, new way of co-constructing uh, solutions and it's a long way and uh, sometimes it's not always winning but uh, it, we can really feel like the expectations from the consumer and citizen wanting to get involved in a few words Thank you very much, uh, Juliette. And maybe I, I'll come back to you also uh, on, on one particular initiative, uh, which you might know very well, because uh, I think, uh, I don't know if Zero Waste has its headquarters in it, but there is also the Maison du Zéro Déchet, the, the house of Zero Waste in Paris. Maybe you, you could tell us more just in a minute, because I want to, to come back to um, Ercolano Rossini, uh, because you, you just mentioned something that seems uh, very interesting to me, um, is uh, also the fact to co-construct um, um, this kind of, 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 of policies with the local authorities. Um, and, and maybe, uh, Rosano, you, you could explain us a bit, uh, a bit more in detail uh, how, how, you, how you did that uh, in, in Capanori, and also maybe how you, you try to spread this word also um, in other parts of the country or in other parts of Europe, because I saw, maybe, for example, that you also did a conference and, and, and advised uh, the, the, the um, Corsica in France, for example. Um, yes, Rosano. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, when we started in Capanno, defeating the Insan Riddle, uh, we um, started in uh, finding and point on uh, some solution. 
at that time, it was uh, at the end of, of a 90 year, um, there was not uh, a zero waste, but we started about uh, uh, alternatives. Um, a solution instead barn uh, um, waste. And uh, we arrived uh, at uh, 2006 uh, with door to door collection in Capannori, successful, over 80% of separation rate. Then, um, uh, based on uh, such a kind of success, I asked the mayor. Uh, Giorgio, Giorgio del Gingaro is the, uh, the name of the, uh, the mayor of Capano. Giorgio, we need to, to do uh, uh, more. You could be the first uh, mayor in Italy um, to uh, launch zero waste path. And Giorgio was very, um, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, Giorgio was very, very uh, interested and after, in half an hour, uh, answered, yes, it's uh, very nice for me. And uh, all started. And I wanted uh, at the time to rest a little. But when you win, people are phoning. Uh, very nice, uh, very nice story, a winning story. How, how did you please share with us? And so day by day, month by month, year by year, we arrived at the beginning of only 25 municipality following Capano, but now an explosion because at the beginning only a, a, a small stone, then the stone is a huge stone. And we are sharing our story with other country and the, the, the example of Ljubljana was uh, very, very important for us. And uh, Zero Waste Europe uh, is working a lot about connecting Zero Waste cities, and it's uh, possible. And the Zero Waste, it's the beginning of a Green New Deal, of a, an ecological revolution, because everything is uh, running, crossing our 10 fingers. If uh, we are mixing, we have uh, waste, but uh, if uh, our ends are separating organic flow from uh, uh, cellulosic flow from metals and so on, only resources. And it's easy We put the faith in community. Community are doing the difference. Thank you very much, um, Rosano, and um, maybe also to, to... To build on that, um, Juliette, um, you have a very concrete uh, local example, as I mentioned already, is, which is called the Maison du Zéro Déchet, the Zero Waste House in, in Paris. Uh, there might be also some uh, in, in different uh, cities, uh, some local association running such houses also. Um, just uh, before giving you the word, um, everyone, if, if you have a question, please raise your hand. Uh, I will be very happy to give you also the floor because uh, I'm not supposed to be asking all the questions here. Uh, you should also uh, have some for our, our uh, panelists. Otherwise, I have a lot of uh, other questions. So I will ask them uh, um, all, all that I have on my list, but uh, feel free to either to write in the chat, I don't know if you, you can that, or to raise your hand. Um, it's uh, in the reaction section um, at the bottom of your screen. Uh, thank you. So Juliette, maybe um, to explain what, what you are doing also with Zero Waste France at this uh, Maison du Zéro Déchet. Yes. Uh, so the first idea was to have a place where people can meet and also a shop where people can discover new objects generating less waste. Mm -hmm. And um, then uh, now we moved to another place which is quite big and which is supposed to be also a uh, a cafe and a conference room, but right now it's a bit uh, problematic. Uh, but it's also very important to have physical spaces where people can meet and have debate. And, and uh, we are also very much uh, promoting the synergies which can be done with uh, activists, with uh, local authorities, but also with uh, social entrepreneurs. And just uh, having this place is really important. 
Um, we are also very proud because the, the way we made the construction in the house, we really tried to reuse a lot of materials. So it's also a good uh, uh, vitrine. Sorry, I haven't speaking in English for a long time. Uh, it's a, a good way to show an example of, um, of uh, best practice in terms of uh, um, uh, construction and uh, we had a lot of tables from reuse, a lot of uh, even the floor and the glass and so on. Um, and maybe I can add something to what have been said just before. Uh, it's also very important to exchange best practices and we are also very involved in the REST Europe uh, working group on this uh, subject. And there are case studies about local authorities uh, doing uh, better jobs uh, in our view uh, and we are translating them and, and uh, promoting them to our local groups and to the general public and it's really important to show other ways and it's in terms of narrative about the word we use and the, the society we want to live in and also giving really figures and, and especially there can be more job creation thanks to uh, their waste initiatives. There are many good impacts and uh, we are really trying to work with uh, all those best practices to show them and spread them. Thank you very much, uh, Juliette. And maybe to, to, to continue with that, um, the, 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 you, you are running local initiatives, but uh, as, as uh, we are talking now, we know that uh, the, 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 it, it, it's not enough to have one local initiative and another one, but uh, for, for a change to take place uh, uh, in our societies, uh, in our way to product and to consume, uh, we need also um, a more broader collective uh, action, maybe also at the policy level uh, at, at the level of politics and national and European level um, I would like to ask the three of, of you how how you how you act with regard to that to make your initiative more systemic and and also to reach the the national and the European level uh, maybe uh, Dreisen, you, you want to to start or, or Arcolano as as you want Rosano as you want Dreisen. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we are uh, we are member. Uh, I think that uh, basically we have to cooperate and network with uh, all together because that is how we are uh, approached to the uh, policy makers with uh, more strength. So we are member of network sale. That is network of uh, ten different organizations from all uh, over Croatia that are taking care for. Um, common uh, good uh, approach in uh, waste, energy, and water uh, management. So these are three uh, areas that we are focused and approach to public policies as uh, good examples, as uh, solutions, and things like that. And we are also member on European level and global level uh, in, uh, for example, in food sector with urgency that is uh, uh, CSA, uh, global network of uh, different kinds of models. We are also a member of Solidarity Economy Europe, RIPES. So that I think we, we, all, we all started from our local uh, background, local position, but it is always more easy and more inspiring and with bigger strength when we are networking on national level, but also on European level. So that is, uh, that is our experience. Thank you, Drazen. Um, um, Rosano, maybe you want to, to uh, Ercolini, Rosano, maybe you want to, to, um, to complete on, on how also you, you're reaching the, the Italian government. I don't know if it's uh, very easy, but uh, how, how, how do you try also with your initiative at the local level to, to reach some, some national achievements in one, uh, one minute or two minutes, please? Okay. okay. Uh, when uh, you have uh, uh, credibility, when uh, you involve in your narrative, uh, media are very careful about what you are doing. So a national TV came in, in my office uh, and uh, they asking uh, to, to meet uh, zero waste families, how they are doing to reach zero waste. Is it possible? Please, I want to touch. And uh, 
uh, when uh, you, 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 you are showing that it's possible, it's happening, it's uh, not easy because the politicians are too far. Only mayors are close to you because you can knock uh, on their uh, door and that they are uh, they, uh, mostly available to open the door and, uh, and hear from you uh, your programs. It's a, a little uh, diff a more difficult to involve a national level, but when a national TV is uh, uh, um, telling uh, people that in Capannori, the small municipality of Capannori, everything is uh, working well. It's not the, the true. Uh, we have a little of a trouble, problems as the usual. But anyway, the, the narrative is very important and the politicians are coming. In, in other, on the other hand, it was very important when you have a single user heightened, right, right, we wrote to to Lavazza about the coffee capsules. Please, we are doing a lot in short separation, but this item is not separable. And it's only disposal, not alternative. It's a mistake in, uh, in the sign. Can we have a meeting to redesign such a kind of items? The path started because they are so deeply involved in marketing. So if you are gentle, but saying right things, they are obliged to be involved. The, the same few days ago, I had a, a very bad, a big meeting with a Ferrero management. Ferrero is famous for Nutella. And they are producing a throw away, a single use, um, uh, glass for tea, and it's uh, stupid items. And uh, I wrote them, they um, uh, answered, and we had uh, a common call uh, where they uh, showed the possibility to work together. A PR is very important to involve a standard that produce responsibility. It's uh, the new border of the zero waste revolution. Thank you very much, Rosano and uh, Juliette. Maybe also in one minute uh, on on how you you're trying to achieve also national um, um, objectives and how how you how you speak maybe with the French uh, governments. Yes, uh, actually we do we do a lot of lobbying and especially right now there there is in France a, a law being uh, discussed about uh, climate change. Uh, so we met a lot of deputies and we also trained the activists from our local groups uh, to understand the issues and to send letters to their deputies. Um, there, there, are very, there are different levels. There are the local authorities, the national government and also the European Union through uh, the West Europe, but also through our minister who are then making decision uh, at the European Union uh, level. Uh, so we are doing uh, all these lobbying activities and there are, for me there are different parts. One is really new regulation just to forbidden those practices which are really bad and generating too much waste, but also helping alternatives. And that means by grants, that means by communication, and that also means by themselves they should not use for example, single-use plastic or whatever, and just apply the, the, the good example in their own institutions. And we are very much um, careful about that. And uh, uh, it can be, uh, if you organize a sport event, from the beginning, think about all the waste you will be generated and look at every point where you could reduce those weights. It can be about... Um, uh, the, the canteens in school and, and the zero waste approach is re must really be understood as in any activity where you can work with whom to reduce those waste. Thank you very much, uh, Juliette. Uh, so thank you very much also to the three of you. Our time is already over. It's very short, as I mentioned. 
Um, but you have also a second uh, panel after uh, this meeting, which we will be able to join with the link that will be shown uh, to you and posted maybe in the in the chat uh, on on how local initiative can also change um, the the face of the of of uh, the European Green Deal and and also make it more concrete. Uh, and I just keep as in my conclusion very short uh, that uh, it's important to have some concrete um, examples to to show uh, in narratives uh, also how it is possible to succeed and also to train people uh, to be able to talk with other uh, people with politicians with all the, the people they are um, uh, working or, or or talking with uh, this is what is um, the more Im important to make it more systemic this local change uh, co-construction also is really very important so i hope that uh, this um, meetings uh, this short presentation gave you the opportunity to have uh, some inspiration and that you will be also um, curious about uh, um, more details uh, you have some links uh, in the in the chat uh, and um, i think uh, yes there, there are three very important and interesting initiatives and i'll let you now go to the second panel thank you very much to all of you thank you thank you bye take care